Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. A very dear listener, in today's session we will talk about lymph node. Our main objective will be what is lymph node, what is the structure of lymph node, and what are the flow of lymph within the lymph node. So let's start from what is lymph node. lymph node structure and function first we know about what is lymph node lymph node is a bean shaped and small capsulated structure which is present within the passage of lymph fluid. So it's very easy definition that lymph fluid, uh, lymph node is a small bean shape encapsulated structure which is present in the passage of lymph fluid. Let me draw the structure of lymph node that for example this is a lymph node Lymph node is very easy to understand. It is a small capsulated structure which is present throughout the passage of lymph fluid. It is the very brief and easy definition of lymph node. Lymph node having two main structure. It has one concave surface and one convex surface. On Concave service, there is entry point for entry point for afferent afferent lymph vessels. Let me draw one point over here that lymph coming to the lymph node through afferent lymphatic vessels. This is afferent lymphatic vessels. In on concave services arteries are approaching veins in efferent lymphatic vessels are present For example, this is efferent lymphatic vessels which is present on concave surface of the lymph node. It may be one or two. And artery also may be one or two which supply the arterial blood into the lymph node. This surface this surface of the lymph node is called cortex of the lymph node and this surface of the lymph node is called medulla of the lymph node. 
so up to now we learn about lymph node that lymph node is a small capsulated structure a bean like structure which is present throughout the flow of lymph fluid and it has one concave surface and one convex surface the outer surface which is called cortex and the inner part which is called medulla of the lymph node this is the afferent lymphatic vessel through which lymph fluid coming into lymph node and this is another afferent lymphatic vessels through which lymph fluid coming into lymphatic vessel the outer portion is called capsule which is made of collagen fibrous tissue and there is a partition inside the lymph node let me draw the partition which is made of connective tissue fibers these septa this is partition which is made of connective tissue and it is called septa of the lymph node so let's talk about the flow of lymph that through afferent lymphatic vessel the lymph fluid coming into lymph node is enter into the lymph node it's move downward toward the medulla of the lymph node through different lymphatic channels are lymphatic uh, sinuses these sinuses for example this is a lymph fluid this is a lymph fluid which coming into the lymph node first of all it enter into it enter into this channels which is called for example this is lymph fluid which enter into this direction and coming down toward the medulla of the lymph node and from this direction it is coming down into medulla of the lymph node so this partition or this parts of the lymph node is called subcapsular sinuses or subcapsular lymphoid sinuses is it's move down and cross these partition this channel or this sinuses is called subcortical sinuses this is called for example subcapsular subcapsular sinuses and this sinuses is called cortical cortical sinuses in the lymph fluid coming down toward from this direction it may be into this efferent lymphatic vessels first of all lymph fluid enter into subcapsular sinuses then subcortical sinuses or cortical sinuses and then in downward toward the medullary part so this channel or this lymphoid sinuses which is present within the lymph node is called medullary sinuses this is this is for example lymph fluid moving down toward the medullary sinus medullary sinuses this medullary sinuses medullary sinuses and after medullary sinuses this is a one way wall present over here on the exit point and at the 
entry point there is a one way wall present one way wall present over here which makes sure the unidirection of limb fluid flow so up to now we learn about the flow of limb that limb fluid coming through afferent lymphatic vessels to the lymph node and first of all is enter into subcapsular sinuses then subcapsular sinuses to cortical sinuses and after cortical sinuses is enter into medullary sinuses and after medullary sinuses it through efferent lymphatic vessels it out from the lymph node now let me briefly define the structure or the specialized cells which is present in the cortex part of the lymph node this outer portion is called cortex there is a for example a specialized cells which is present over here which is the cluster of b lymphocyte and it look like a nodule and this nodule like structure is called what lymphoid nodules which is the collection of b lymphocyte another types of specialized cells which is present over here in the cortex is called macrophages let me draw one cluster of b lymphocyte here it's present throughout in the cortex and look like a nodule so it is called lymphoid nodules which is mainly b lymphocytes or b cells another specialized cells which is present over here is eating cells that is macrophages this is b lymphocyte or b cells and this is macrophages this is macrophages let me draw one macrophages over here this is another macrophages this is b lymphocyte b lymphocyte nodules and this is macrophages another specialized cells which is present over here is antigen presenting cells that is for example this is antigen presenting cell i'm draw my blue antigen presenting cells in fact this is not antigen presenting cell it is now called antigen holding cells because macrophages like other antigen presenting cell like macrophages macrophages react with antigen or pathogen and then enter within the membrane of macrophages cells react with lysosome and acidic environment and phagocytosome then and express the molecule with class 2 molecule but these specialized cells this is antigen holding cells it having receptor for antigen antibody complex are for antibodies for example these are receptor for antibodies complex antigen antibody complex this is for example let me draw over here that for example this is a macrophages it engulf the pathogen this is engulf the pathogen and express with an express on surface this is with class 2 molecule right but this antigen holding cell or antigen presenting cell having um, receptor on their cell membrane for these complex so it hold the antigen up to few weeks year and up to many decade so this is a specialized antigen holding cell which is present in the 
lymph node now another type of cell which is present over here is reticulocyte for example this is reticulocyte cells which is present in the cortex part of the lymph node and the main function is make collagen protein number 3 let's talk about the function of lymph node so lymph node for whom main function it is filtration number 1 filtration number 2 it's holding the antigen holding the antigen number third function is the house for b cells and house for t cells and it act like a filter machine these this is the function of these are the function of lymph node there's let me repeat very briefly about this um, lymph node structure and function the function is filtration and holding the antigen is out for the b cell and t cell and the main function is it percolate the lymph fluid throughout the a lymph node so different types of uh, cells this is b lymphocyte macrophages and antigen holding cells and others immune system cell which is present uh, over here so every single cell with the lymph fluid pathogen interact with them so it can easily generate immune response against this pathogen which is present in the lymph node the structure is outer part is called cortex inner part is called medulla flow of lymph node coming to the lymph node through efferent lymphatic vessels which may be two or three and it enter into the subcapsular sinuses then subcapsular sinuses it move down towards the medullary uh, medullary uh, sinuses through uh, cortical sinuses pass subcapsular sinuses then cortical sinuses and third medullary sinuses and at the this point is called remember this point sir is called where artery veins and efferent lymphatic vessels are present this is called hilum of the lymph node so this is all about the lymph node